show you an exhibit that's been admitted. Base number 4093. I'm sorry, 4101. I apologize. That's the picture right here. Where is this? What is this? That's the scene of the shooting. Do you recognize anything in the picture? Yeah, I recognize that to be the spot where my girl was laying at. Did you talk to the police that morning? No, I mean, they asked me. They asked me a question. They only asked me like a couple questions about it. What did you tell them? At the time, I told them I didn't know who shot us. Why did you tell them that? Because it was, it just happened too quick. And it just was, it was just, it happened too quick. And like, you know, when you go through stuff like that, like, you know, you just don't know. Like, because in a situation like that, you just don't know what to say at all or how to respond to certain things. Like, you just don't say certain things like, you know. So you didn't tell them what you had seen. No, I just told them I didn't see the shooter because in my mind, my mind wouldn't allow me to see the shooter at the time. But you had, in fact, seen a shooter. Yeah. At any point, did you tell who it had been? I told when I first testified, it took me a while before I could actually, you know, come to terms with, you know, what is right thing and what's the wrong thing to do. Like, you know, you know, I deal with, we go through that like, but did you later tell? Later, I did. Yeah, later. Go ahead. I'm sorry. Later, I came clean about it. But for the longest, I denied it. So what did you ultimately tell the police? I ultimately told the police, do the man shot me. That's what I told them because that's what I feel. That's what I seen. Did you ultimately tell them Puggy had shot too? I didn't say Puggy shot me because I only seen Puggy as being like directing a director of some sort. He was not the shooter. He just only gave the orders about the shooting. How many guns did you see? Two. Did you ultimately tell them that Boat had shot you though? That's my question. No, no, because no, I didn't. I don't believe I said both of them shot. I believe me and my girl, me and my girl had, I think she believed one thing. I believe one thing. I believe she believed Puggy shot her because she had a competition with him. And I believe, Mr. Joseph, my question is this. Okay, did you ultimately say that Puggy and Duda Man shot you and Marquisa? I can't testify to that. Because to say that, I would have to see two different guns was used, and that was not the case. I'll allow him to finish his answer, Your Honor. Only one person shot a gun that night, from my knowledge. I didn't see no two shooters. Okay, thank you, Mr. Joseph. It's 1040, so let's take our morning break. Mr. Joseph, we're going to have to give the jury a little break, so you will need to stay here. Let's bring in the jury. Is everybody back? Are the lawyers here? All right, be seated. Good morning, Mr. Joseph. My name is Dwight Dosky. I've got a bunch of questions to ask you about January, but let me ask you about something different before that. Do you know a Kevin Peters? Kevin Peters? I am not sure. Used to be a drug dealer, got killed back in 2011. Oh, yeah, yeah, I remember. Do you know Terrence Paul? Yes. Somebody you met in jail or you knew him before then? No, I've been knowing him. Now, you gave a handgun to Kevin Peters, correct? I gave Kevin Peters a handgun, did I? I don't have no knowledge of that. You don't recall ever giving or selling Terrence Peters a handgun? No. You weren't dealing in guns at all? No, because I know you said that you didn't like having guns around and don't carry guns. Yeah, I mean, that's just not my thing. That's not my hustle. So you never told Terrence Paul that you had given a gun to Kevin Peters that has several heads on it? No, that's the wrong person. That's not my line of work. I don't do. I'm not into that. I was officially a tattoo artist. That was my main hustle. Wasn't into guns, wasn't into nothing. And I used drugs as in my own time. So, I mean, I wasn't into dealing guns and stuff like, no, that's the heavy stuff. I wasn't into that. Okay, 
So you never had that sort of conversation with Terrence Paul? Never. Let me turn back to January of 2011 when you got shot, okay? Right. That day you got grazed on the head? Right. I'm sure it hurt tremendously, but the police came out and you were still at the scene talking, correct? Right. Marquisa was in bad shape? Uh-huh. And she was lying down on the ground? Right. So you did most of the talking to the policeman? No, I didn't do no talking. I just told them I didn't see the shooter. That was it. I shut up. I didn't say. I didn't have a conversation with them. You told them you didn't see the shooter, or you told them you couldn't identify the shooter? Yeah, well, either or. I just wasn't working with them. I mean, I just didn't see, you know. I just wasn't sure at the time, like, you know. You weren't sure of what? Who was the shooter? So you saw the shooter, but you weren't sure who the shooter was? I seen an image of a person, you know. I'm sorry. Go ahead. I seen an image of a person. That was it. Now, you told the policeman that there was only one person coming at you all, didn't you, that day? Yeah, I probably, yeah. You didn't tell them about any second person? No. Just one person? No. The person, now, the person that you were talking about back on that day, you're saying was do the man, right? Yeah, but like, I mean, see, I mean, I'm going to be honest with you. You know, I mean, it's just so much that I just don't really, I am not sure. Like, I'm going to be honest with you. I really don't even want to be here today. Honestly, I don't want to say nothing about nothing. They just won't leave me alone about this. They just keep coming after me until I come up here. I done done time. I done been offered to get locked up and everything not to come to court today. They won't leave me alone. I don't really want to remember a lot of what happened back in. To be honest, I blocked that out because I don't want to remember. Because it's all bad and I'm not really sure about who is who. I just know some things, but I just don't know who is who. I don't know how to put it together. I don't know who, you know, it's just, I just, the way my mind is right now, I just, honestly, if I figure I can get off this stand and go do some time, I'd rather do some time right now than to be up here talking. Honestly, I'd take some handcuffs right now. I don't want to be up here. Mr. Joseph, why don't you listen to the question and answer? The very first day, you said you didn't know who had done the shooting, correct? Yes, exactly what I said. And today, you really don't know who did the shooting. Is that correct? Honestly, I don't. And today... Isn't it true that you're really not even sure that Puggy was there on the scene of the shooting? I know he confronted my girl, but I can't testify that, you know, he had anything to do with the shooting because I know one thing for certain, he didn't shoot me. And you know that whoever, when Puggy was at the store, that was the only place that I can place him at the store with the confrontation. After that, I can't say for a fact that he had anything to do with no shooting. I'd be a lie. I can't say it. And at the store, Puggy wasn't dressed in any black hoodie, was he? No. So this incident that happened only seconds after or minutes after that confrontation at the store, the person who was out there on the street was dressed in completely different clothes than the Puggy who had been at the store was wearing. Is that correct? Correct. Most of what you actually, do you know is it safe to say that out there on the streets that the rumors actually exceed the facts you hear more rumors and try to put things together from rumors than actually knowing facts objection speculation sustain isn't that what you told the grand jury that you personally know more through rumors than through facts objection vague no i think he is asking him what he exactly what he said to the grand jury okay in what regard Overruled. Do you remember telling a grand jury most of those things that you that you're going to do? Oh, know about D. Lord. You're going to hear it through rep, through rumors. Exactly, because I can't. I can't. I wasn't there when he did whatever they claim he did. I wasn't there. I wasn't with him. Like 
I only hear stuff in the streets like, and if you was around me at the time, I can only attest to what I have seen. I don't want to attest to what I've heard because then I would be down bad. I feel like I'm wrong for, you know, I mean, come on. I done did buku time myself. I done been in trouble buku times and I don't want nobody coming setting me up, you know, bad. I just, I know what I know and there are some things that I don't know. And I want to just be held accountable for what I do. But I don't want to take no parts in some rumors or some. I just don't feel right about it. I just really don't. So, number one, you don't want anybody to be putting words in your mouth. Is that correct? At all. Number two, you don't want to be here today. Is that correct? I don't. Number three, they have gone ahead, meaning the federal government, has gone ahead and has done everything to force you to be here today, right? Yes. Number four, are you telling the ladies and gentlemen of the jury that you cannot say that D. Lloyd Jones, that Puggy had anything to do with your shooting or with the shooting of your wife, your fiance, Marquisa Coleman? I can only testify that they had some words and that's the extent of it. You know, like, I just really can't definitely say he shot her because, you know, I mean, that's just, that's an argument that, I mean, that's how I feel. I mean, you know, I just feel that way. And I mean, they know how I feel. It's just, I can't just do it. Like, I just don't feel right about just the way this whole thing is coming on me. Honestly, I would rather be locked up right now. That's so help you, God. That's the truth, right? Like you swore this oath. I swear to God, I take my lick right now. Just, I just don't want to be here. It's stressing me out. You know what I'm saying? I just don't want to have no pause to this. Let me ask you just one other thing that I've been wondering about. Are you and Marquisa still together? Nope. How long have you been separated? Objection. Relevance. Sustained. I have no further questions. Thank you, sir.